Hi, I'm Scott Shelley here in Chicago on the Senior Group floors for Traders Exclusive. Uh, having a good time in Chicago, keeping the local economy here uh, uh, going. Be, I could say you've been probably limit up in Chicago on pizza and, and, and hot dogs, but uh, hopefully I stop eating those sometime soon. But anyway, let's talk about what the TVs want us to talk about, right? I've been kind of putting that as my thing as of late. What do, what do the, the, the talking heads want me to talk about? And you know what? It's going to be the tariffs. I know that right now we're probably starting to get a little glassy-eyed and turned off by it, but something in the news about it every day seems to be popping up. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take everything and put it together from whatever it may be, manufacturing to, to, to grains and everything that may be affected by these, these tariffs in between those two things. And here's the bottom line. Steve Bannon, somebody close to the president, has said that he thinks that this is what the president is willing to die for. That's the hill, quote unquote, that he's willing to die on. And that hill that he's willing to die on is disrupting world trade order. And what he meant by that was this. The way that China's been behaving over the last 20 to 30 years is something that Donald Trump wants to totally erase and change. And what he's trying to do, at least to some of the smarter guys in the room, is get Japan together with the EU and then hopefully together with the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. Canada is a little late to the table. I ultimately think that this is what's going to happen. They're going to have to join. But with those three big trading blocks, Donald Trump is trying to change the way we trade around the world because of the bad or the so-called bad behavior from China, the way that China has been behaving badly to the EU as well as other big countries. So that really encapsulates where they're coming from. Now, my question is this, a couple of questions. Is that going to be his general Custer moment, or is he going to actually have a chance to win this thing? And the reason I say that is that both sides have got decaying options in their hands, right? Donald Trump's dealing with some political goodwill capital. But that's not a never-ending well. That's not a bottomless pit, right? There's only so much goodwill that he can spend on this issue. We're already seeing the farmers starting to hurt. And then on the other hand, we've got a Chinese economy that's melting down in front of our very eyes, in front of their own eyes. But how much can they mask over that with their government and let them tell the rest of the world that things are just fine when they're not? And I think with technology, that's going to be more and more difficult. You know, it's not going to be a Tiananmen Square moment, but we're going to have a, a, a situation where the last 30 years we've seen the Chinese government take a lot of guys out of bicycles and put them in cars and, and have them stop eating rice and now eating steak. I think there could be a revolt if they have to take them out of that car and make them eat rice again. That's going to be one big deal. So keep those things in mind. They both are decaying options, the Chinese economy decaying in front of our very eyes, and you know, President Trump spending his political goodwill capital to get some sort of resolution. I think something happens sooner rather than later. I think he's a president of action, not attrition. And that's why I think these markets are taking things pretty well in stride, and I think that's exactly the case. So that's it from me. It's a little long-winded, but it's all about the tariffs, but it's commonsensical tariffs. Really the 40,000-foot view of what I think is really happening and what we're trying to get to. Hope you found that interesting. That's it from me. I'm Scott Shelley here at the Semi Group Floors in Chicago for Traders Exclusive. I'll see you again next week.